Vice President Yemi Oshinbajo, on arrival in the Asian city, went straight to the palace of the Oni, where he was received by some of the high chiefs. He signed the condolence register and delivers the message from the president to the people of Ileife. For those who have been anywhere uh, in, in, in places where Yoruba culture is celebrated outside Nigeria and Cuba and Brazil, you know, and those kinds of places in, in those countries, it is the only who made the, the Yoruba culture uh, popular. And I think that uh, for that alone, he deserves a lot of accolades. The aspect of, of, of life that is important to the people, to the Yoruba people, he upheld it, maintained it, and dignified it. I think that that, that, that really is uh, the message. As part of the visit, the vice president attended an interreligious farewell service. While condoling the family, he urged every Nigerian to live a life worthy of emulation. Uh, every great uh, person such as himself, um, their passing on is a, is a moment of reflection, is, is as they say a teachable moment for us all, that in the end we're all going to go, but the question is what are we going to leave behind, what will our legacy be, and for me it's a reflective moment, it's a moment where I you know, ask myself the same question, especially those of us who have been given places of responsibility in, in our nation, such as himself. You know, the question is, uh, so what is the legacy? Admiral Akia Duo, retired, is an honorary title holder in Ileife. He and some indigents of Ife speak about the monarch. A conscientious ruler. In, in, and he wanted the best and unifying interest for Yoruba land. He tried his best for 35 years to bring together every unit of Nigeria. As tradition permits, the palace gate is short for now and all markets are closed at this period. And this is just to signify and honor the great elephant that has fallen. In Ilefe, Jide Onifa.